next two episodes, we will be finalising an actual 15 players for the Super Rugby Rejects. We need just one more back and one more forward. Today, we head to South Africa, where we take on the Sharks for our one back option. Unfortunately, that's not the player I want the most. But we will be back here to take on the Sharks again very soon. Today, though, we get a scrum half. What's going on, everyone? And welcome back along to your home of rugby. Hope you're all doing well. And welcome, of course, to the Super Rugby Rejects. Today, we take on the Sharkies. Not the Sail Sharkies, but instead the South Sea Sharks from South Africa. We could take a number of players from this team. My word, we could take a number of players from the scene. Oxen Shea, for one. Pretty sure Vincent Koss played Super Rugby as well. Hiron Andrews definitely did. And a number of backs. Alpha Lele Fassi, yes. Werner Cock has been around for a decade. He certainly would have been as well. Lacanio Arm, 100% played Super Rugby. The one I really want. And I mean, if we needed a winger, I would have gone here first. For the king of rugby, Marcus Olema Pippi. But we've got to stay focused. We've got to take positions that we need. Marcus Ola, my king, we will be back for you in a few episodes' time. When we build the depth, I'm sorry, but Tukulet is good. I don't care. Anyone else, they can go to the bench because the king will be there at the end. Kerwin Bosch is another option for the number 10 jumper as well. Was very young when he went through his Super Rugby period, but still a fantastic 10-15 option for the squad. The player, however, that we are going after, I mean, we've just named half their team. I think Kieran Van Vuren played Super Rugby as well, is Francois Hogard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The electric little number 9 slash 11 slash 14 slash 15 slash it doesn't really matter. Just put him in a shirt without a number on it because he's that damn good, he will do you a service no matter where you put him on the field. Maybe a little bit small for a prop, but aside from that, he is really a class backline player. Of course, he played all over the place, and at his age, he's at now 35, he certainly has had a storied career, playing for the Bulls 88 times. What a career there. He lined up for the Kings even once, which is an absolute crown in anyone's career. Ain't that right, Marcus Zola? Yes, yes, good sir, that is correct. Then, of course, he spent time with the Worcester Warriors. Almost 100 caps there as well. Then he moved on to the Wasps, Saracens, before coming back, effectively, home to South Africa, although not the Bulls, where he started, instead with the Sharks. This is a stack team. This is going to be a challenge, but if we can get Francois Hogard in our team, whoo, we will be just that little bit more snipey, of course. Now, this guy not only, of course, plays at nine, he's adept around the rest of the back line, like I was saying before. So the options for this guy, maybe as a starter, but down the line off the bench, it's very, very good. Oh, you've got an injury there, Mr. Canetis. Don't worry. We've got Francie Hogard. That is going to be a great asset to have in this scene. We do welcome... <laughs> Dolph! Yes! Dolph, Stephen, Luatua also to the squad in his first matchup. The Ford pack is one name off complete, but let's welcome Dolph in and try and get him a try and a win. That's the main thing. Soon, very soon, we will work on this bench. Let's get down to the action, however, it's about to kick off the Sharkies, of course, there in the black. Uh, we will be in our home strips today, the yellow uh, and red and black as we get things underway with Kerwin Bosch. Kickoff done. Oh, and a well taken play there, Verona Cobb. Oh my God, he's still going. Oh, this could be a great start for the Sharks. Bang! Saved. Luatua just come flying in from nowhere. Back to Andrews. Oh my Release. goodness, we on the back foot straight away. This is a great start for the Sharks. It's Bosch. A little more back inside. they got numbers everywhere. Big run here. Vincent Cross doing well. Uh oh, the Pimpy. Little slip back. Almost through. They go again. It's that up for the fullback. Off of that fussy, it looks like. Little short ball. He just goes to show how good they are. Here is up for that fussy. He's back in the action again. He is up for fullback. Andrews stepping. Off running. And Shay. Oh, he's done a brilliant job. And off for that fussy. 
Wow, the involvement of their fullback. Exquisite from the Sharks. And they're up five points to nil. That was insane. That was just a ridiculous try. How do you stop that? How? It is impossible to stop. Pace, power, skill, it's all there. And I saw very little involvement from our boy Francois Hogan. But I tell you what, we're in trouble. <laughs> we are in so much trouble, man. Here is Bosch. Nice. He's just good. He's just good. He's solid. He's just good again. Another really good option. Starting, versatile bench player. I mean, there's so many good Super Rugby rejects. It's so hard. Every time you look at a team, you go, well, we can get him. We can get him. We can get him as well. I mean, look at the Sharks team. We've not looked at the Stormers. We've not looked at the Bulls that much. I mean, there's so many names out there. We need the ball, damn it. We need the ball. Dolph, get us the ball, please. Gosh. Uh oh, I mean, we are, we are in so much trouble here. We are falling on tackles. More than Lettersley falls away from the rain. And here is Kosh again. We just can't keep up. We need the ball, damn it. We can go. Oh, this could get us the ball. Nice, Lumatua. Nice. Oh, he's offloaded. That's a bit ridiculous. We're waiting now. Williams, here we go, boys. Lumatua and Tonos for Fita. Five for Fita. Running away from the Pepe. And fire for Fita. Just goes to show why these Pacific Island back rollers are so damn good. Because they're fast. Why is Artie Salvia so good? Why is he one of the best players in the world right now? Because he is fast. Vaya Fafita, Dolph Luatua, all those sorts of names. Also so good because they are fast. And also a name we're going to be going for very, very soon as well. It's very, very fast and powerful. Oh, I can't wait for that episode. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a cracker. Let's go straight on what we're going to do here first. I mean, the Sharks aren't a pushover. And as I say that, it is tied up. Seven points apiece between the Super Rugby Rejects and, of course, the Cell C Sharks. Good to be playing in South Africa as well, by the way. Haven't done too much yet. We've done a lot in France. Now the series is changing. Now the competitions are changing. <laughs> Dolphy takes it in. Lazana, nice ball to Nano Williams. Right, took a let. Stay on the shoulder, took a let. Good, 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 good. Nice. Well Police. played. Andrew Riddy followed that play out very well. Fafita gets a nice heel from Nahame. And so ball is numbers everywhere. And so Nano Williams. He'll be escorted to the corner by Verna Koch, but it won't matter. Turn that on, Williams scores, and fire for Vita is balling out. He is having a storming game. And the Sharks are no longer circling. We may have just done some damage here to their confidence. Turn that on, Williams, outside, inside, forced to the corner from Varna Koch, but done the job brilliantly. We know his pace is electric. Such an asset to the team is timing Nano Williams. Unfortunately, Francois Hogard does not have an amazing first name that we didn't know about, which is a real shame. But he is, of course, a bronze medalist from the Rio Olympics in the sevens. As a good shot of goal there from our boy Jimmy Gopuff. Puts us ahead by seven. We've not seen too much from Francois Hogard so far. Of course, he seems to be the king of the front teams as well. Wasps, Worcester, Kings. He loves it. Luizua takes another kickoff down. Here is Jimmy Gopin. Oh, wrestling and dazzling. Jimmy Gopin. Release. Up out of the 22. Number. Looking to show his wares here. You don't need Francois Hogart, he says. I've got a good boot on me. That's a very nice kick too from Number. Here is the chase from Canadis. But I'll fill that he deals to the danger. With a kick to touch. Not of approval there from his teammates. I feel like if I see another name, we could certainly pick up for the rejects. So many options, especially in South Africa. I'll tell you what, there's stacks of them. 
Former at the front. The two remaining players. Tukalit gets the ball, throws to Siva. Tukalit slips up again. Throws it to no one. We've got to go back. It's good. It does well. Talfua knows one way and one way only. That's forward. Lost ball though. Big turnover. Sharks get it back. Here's the Pippi. Away from one would be pathetic tackle from Tim Nella Williams. He's a quick ball from Honga. It does nicely too. Gets this thing going forward. Koss. Tries to rock it off the back. In shape to the right. Fussing's up on the line again. And a very good run. Cutting it back. Forwards. Looking to play a little bit of fun ball here, which is very scary. Hoggard. He does not go down easy. Look at him. Look at this. Look at this from the Sharks. What are you doing up on the line, Ben? Get back, Ben. A little bit of a dummy from Van Buren. A little bit of numbers out wide here. Bramacon gets away from one. Fosses the way to off a little fussy. And this will go to you. And oh, 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 my word. That was close. I was going to leave it. Oh, went for the dead. What? Sit. It's a five minute scrum for the Sharks. Oh, 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 Because we put it dead. I need to concentrate on this. I see a green line way over here. Smash him. Bang! They're still going out wide. Mip Bippy, no! There's one more to go. It's the Kanye Lam up against Stuck Alam! The Kanye Lam! He is in! And over! I think it's the Kanye Lam. It sure is! The experience in the Sharks team is ridiculous! I mean, that was debatable whether we took that dead or not. Very debatable. Markle's Autumn and Pippi unmarked out wide. Took a let poor effort and volleyball and just watches on like he's at a tea party. Oh, that's a nice try you've got there, Lacagno. Useless. Well, I'll tell you what. These Sharks are the real deal. Bristol got a little bit of fun against this last episode, but the Sharks are here to play. And that is scary. That is very scary. One minute to the break, and we're all tied up. Game on! What's even scarier is if we won the Pimpy, we've got to come back and beat them again. If we won the Kanyuara, we've got to come back and beat them again. There goes Buzz at the half time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, kick it out. Yeah, yeah kick it out, Corin. I'll, I'll just run it out. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, I have no intention to play on like either do you guys. Do not worry. Half time goes. It's 14-14. This is a game. This is a true test of the Super Rugby Rejects. We are two players of an actual full squad. And we are getting pushed to the boundaries like nothing else. Sharks made five line breaks to our three. We've made more tackles, we had less ball. Such a contrast to last episode where we did this to the Bristol Bears. We need the ball, we need it now, and we need to score from it. Let's go. Jimmy. Right, a bit of a breeze this way, Jimmy. So let's smoke it up high. Get a good chase on with the forwards. Tukalin is leading the way. Oh, he's got it too, this Tukalin. Here's kicks off. Oh, look at him go. The big raging ball, Ginger. Do we do enough? I think we have just done enough. Great run from Kitschov there. Lambert. Dolph. Nice ball. Oh, you useless twit. Oh, what a time to knock it on. Oh, we needed that so bad. Nice tackle there. Yeah, we got the turnover too, which means we have to force back for a scrum. Nice. Nice. Me likey likey. I mean, this was a great move too. Dolph Luatua put it on a platter. His Kuna was through. He was through. We could have gone back to buy for Fina for the two on one of the fullback. That was a try for us. This was good work though. Stephen Crouch. Kitsoff. Well done. Bind. Well done, my son. Sit. Scrum feet sharks. Let's put pressure on them. Let's turn it over, lads. Come on. We're a better scrum unit. Let's go, boys. Tough forward. To no one in particular. Gopov gets it up. Here's Kuna. Goes on in wide. Oh, what? What is going on? Kanana stops it on. Oh, the pressure. The pressure is telling on the rejects. 
Last episode, this was sweet. The swinging Crouch. plays. Bind. The passes, the handles were so Sit. good. Tonight, it's all falling apart. But the pack says, no matter, we will deal with this. Gopith, out to Nano Williams. Tukalat will straighten things up. Fence, oh, he's gone, he's wiped out. He's been wiped out from up for the NFRC. And we'll take three, please. We will take three. I don't know if this is a good idea. Now, I do realize by the kits that they are now called the Hollywood Bet Sharks, aren't they? They're no longer the South Sea Sharks. I forgot about that. The Hollywood Bet Sharks. Unbelievable. What are the rejects going to be called? Red Bull rejects? I mean, that sounds brilliant. Right, Jimmy. Let's go. Let's get this one over. Take the lead back. Yes. We're up. 17 14. Brilliant job. They were the South Sea Sharks back in Super Rugby, so. Let's just kick to the story, shall we? They've got to love it. Yes, Hollywood bets. I bet you they're making an absolute crap ton of money off that as well. Here we go. Cohen Bosch gets us back underway. We need a good exit here. Oh, Kanetis might make it a very good exit. He's gone over the top. A little chip and chase. Where's Fussy? He's not there. It's corner. One ball for Tim now, Williams. Ha, ha, ha. That is a glorious try! Oh, one of the best! One of the very best from the rejects! Under pressure! Loose ball! And his corner puts it on a silver dish! Canada's chip and chase again isolated! This time timed it perfectly! Fussy come back! It's corner picked it up and delivered a perfect ball! Out to Tim Now Williams! And the little genius finisher! Extends that lead out to 10. We have, well, possibly 10 with this kick. We have been tested. We have been put through the ringer. This has been a game. I tell you what, we've cruised for a while now. I mean, I'm not even thinking about Francois Hogard right now. I'm just thinking about trying to win this game. The lead is 10 over the Sharks. And there's still a long way to go. Still 25 minutes. Back underway. Dolphins chasing that one, but Fafita will grab it. Ready, who has not been in much action, but that's a great ball to Jimmy Goppin. Sharks compete well at the breakdown. This could be, oh no, oh no. Mapimpi made the tackle. I wish we were getting Mapimpi. Here's a chance out wide. Did not get through here, buddy. Good pass back inside, though. Number of players taken out and a try. Oh, no, it's the Kanyuan again. Oh, they make it look so simple, the Sharks. We are back to a potential three-point game. We just can't defend them. Mapimpi made the tackle, which means I thought we were safe out on this left wing. The slow boys got it. A half break there, then what a ball back inside. I didn't even see Lacanio out there at all. And we are back to a close one. I thought we might be able to cruise. I thought we were on our way home. I thought that try by Tim Nello Williams might have broken them, but we're five minutes later, and we are back to a three-point game. It is 24-21. Rejects lead by a whisker, but the Sharks are looking dangerous. Time to be scared, team. Time to be very, very scared. Right, let's get this action going over here again. Last time, Tukulet pulled that in very nicely. Good under the high ball. Let's see if we can do the same. He cannot. Vincent Cox has pulled that one in. This could be no chance of a turnover. And chase that hard. Bosch gets it nicely. Oh, Manakoff. He's going straight through the middle. Look how quick they are to the breakdown. Danger zone. He's coming right up here. Right, Mipip, he's not getting through there. He's got to go back in. Horan Andrews intercepted. Took a lead. It's Connor. Connor's. Strains up. Connor's. Looking for pace. Mateo Connor's. Gets it done. Mateo Connor's. That's what he brings. Pace. Pure pace. And he silences the home crowd supports. What an intercept. Took a lead brilliantly. His goes nicely. And Karina says to Koch and
and to Fassi. I will see you in the corner. Let's go, boys. And he pinned those big ears back and he trampled his way home. What a try. What an unbelievable try to off an intercept. How so very good. Right, big moment here. Massive kick this one. 29-21. The lead is 8. Again, we'll try and make it 10. We do so. We're nearing the last 10 minutes of this game. Just 11 and change to go. Do you remember why we're here? We're here to get uh, Francois Hogan. Oh, I have so forgotten about that. I can't believe he's a one kept king, though. 2009, man. What a time to be alive. Okay, we've gone to Kinetis, the hero. Oh, no, boys, you've got to do better than that. I thought we'd be safe and try and get the ball away. Oh, no, there's no one home out here. Tim Nano Williams took a miss. Someone stop him! Oh, no! Oh, my word, we had just no chance! The king scores! And I cannot wait for the day that we go back to get him. I was going to throw the off right there, but Kieran Van Vruen was on the ball in a flash. And then we had Tim Nuno Williams, not fast enough, Chocolate, not fast enough, Volo Volo was having a picnic. We are in trouble. The lead is going to be cut back to three. Less than ten to play. Hold on to your britches because we're going to full time. Carolyn Bosch, don't miss. Seven and a half to play. Or maybe six and a half, actually. We have to recheck that clock. No, it is seven and a half. I was right the first time, shouldn't have doubted myself. Concentrate, man. On the game. Right, can we get this one, lads, please? A little bit further this time. Try to get it on a running running jump. Chocolate. Oh, we're nowhere. We're nowhere. Put him in touch. Yes, he's in touch. Oh, Vincent Gosh, been amazing. Off those kickoffs, now on unstoppable. But that time, ooh, what a time. Andrew Reddy, Bar for Fita, Nahamba, Gopeth, take on the line. Nino Williams is flat. It's good as there as well. We've got one out wide. It is Kananis to be the hero again. No. Fussy fumbles him into touch. Went for the side set. Fussy just swamped him. Now it's the Sharks line out. Five out from their own line. Two minutes to play. We need the ball. We've got the ball. Advantage. Oh, no, no, Humber. Oh, my God. There's a reason we're dropping you, you clown. You have just signed your way out of this team. Out of this team. I thought we were done. I thought that was it. Crouch. Oh, no. Bind. Forward pack. Do your thing one Sit. more time, please. Oh no. Oh no. The Sharks are going to get a shot at it. Oh no. They're going to get a shot at it. Oh, they've kicked. Oh, I love the Sharks. I love the Sharks. Oh God. He wants to come home. He's kicked a touch. And Francois Hogan calls time on his time at the Sharks. I can't believe that finish. Did he think there was still time? What was he thinking? What a way to go. Oh my, wow. I mean, the Bears pushed us. But the Sharks threw a spanner right in the works. Four tries each. Mapipi and Fassi got one. Lacanuam got a double. Same story for the Rejects. Fafita and Carreras with one each. And Tim Nano Williams grabbed a double as well. Jimmy Gopith and Kerwin Bosch traded conversions for each. But it was that penalty goal from Jimmy Gopith that decided this fixture. What a game, my word. That finish, though. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. I'll take it though. Francois Hogarth is coming home. And thank God too, because remember Nahamba, he dropped that ball. So he's out. He is so out.
Really close one, man. Really, really close one. I can't wait to come back and play the Sharks again because I want, I need Marcus Olim and Pimpy on my team. Good win, though. A real, real classic matchup. All right, it is that time again. I can't, I can't believe his name's Dolph Stephen Luatua. Unbelievable. I love it. I absolutely love it. You, piece of trash, you've been so good until the pressure come on. You turned into an absolute pancake. Not even one that's been cooked. Just the sloppy crap that you throw in the pan. Garbage player. Right, let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. Let's go all the way down here. Oh my God. And let's bump on that. Let's make sure we're on the right thing. Go there. How do we spell his name? H-O-U-G-A-A-R-D. Hoggard. Oh Hoggard. Oh 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 He's not 31. He's 35. But how about that rating? Oh, baby. Yeah. Let's get him in. Uh, September. You're a shit servant. You did nothing for us. You're gone. But as for you, Nahamba, enjoy the bench, sir. Thanks for your service. You were good up until that last game. You made very few errors. But today is your day. Bang. Oh, that is nice. That is very, very, very nice. I love to see it. I mean, what a team now. It's good. It looks like the weekly against us. Volleyballer. That pack looks very good as well. I went too far there. John Alfoa, really starting to let the team down. Fafita's pretty good, though. 77 still. I mean, how good is this side already? And we're not done. We are not done yet. But how good to have Francois Hogarth in the side. Absolute class player as well. Going to really change this team. So we'll see how the next couple of episodes go to build it up. Next time, I'm going to take it down a notch. Because the last two games have been absolutely just heart-stopping. Been, <laughs> it's not been good, man. It has not been good. I want to go for a really good bench player that's not from New Zealand or Australia or South Africa or Argentina, for that matter. This is a guy that he's not going to be a starter. Not for long. Maybe for one episode, he will be in the team. But as a bench player, and I just think as a bit of an iconic sort of journeyman that represents what this series is about, the next guy we go after is going to be just a bit of a fun one. And he's done such a good team. He plays for Cast, and he is Canadian. If you're good at your knowledge of rugby internationally, you'll know this guy. He played some rugby for the Chiefs, if I'm not mistaken. The Canadian, and yes, he is playing for Cast in France. So back to France we go to get ourselves a, a back row slash second row to fill in that last void in our team. And then we go for the big guns. That is it for me today, though, team. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. That was that was, that was was tough, man. That was really tough. Uh, so we got some big names lined up in future episodes as well. We will start after the next one to line out the bench. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying, and I'll see you all next time. Leave it in the comments. Canadian, who do you think it is? Until then, though, take care.